Azerbaijan, Freedom of Expression on Trial, a report of the International Bar Association's Human Rights Institute. In little more than two decades, Azerbaijan has transformed itself from a constituent part of the Soviet Union into a vibrant, independent republic at the crossroads of Europe and Asia. In that time, it has made itself party to a broad range of international human rights instruments and joined important intergovernmental organizations, such as the Council of Europe. In fact, Azerbaijan assumed the chairmanship of the Council's Committee of Ministers in May 2014. It has also adopted a constitution containing clear safeguards for fundamental rights, including freedom of expression. At the same time, Azerbaijan has also gained an unfortunate reputation for its treatment of political opposition forces, journalists and human rights defenders, with numerous reports of violence against reporters and bloggers, as well as criminal and civil proceedings allegedly brought against journalists for publishing or broadcasting stories critical of the government. Indeed, by one estimate, there were more journalists imprisoned in Azerbaijan in 2013 than in Russia, Saudi Arabia and Uzbekistan combined. In a recent move, the government, which had previously committed itself to decriminalizing defamation, has instead extended Azerbaijani criminal law to cover defamatory statements made online, a measure widely viewed as having a chilling effect on internet users. In addition, Although the number of prosecutions for criminal defamation has fallen in recent years, a disturbing trend has now emerged. The seemingly politically motivated prosecution of individuals for a range of offences, including hooliganism, drugs and weapons possession. Freedom of expression is a fundamental human right which underpins other human rights and allows them to flourish. It essentially dictates that you have the right to hold your own opinion and freely express that opinion without government interference. In this way it can be seen as the lifeblood of a democratic society. In April 2013, Azerbaijan had its universal periodic review before the United Nations Human Rights Council in Geneva. The recommendations which flowed from this cycle demonstrate the international concern that from about mid-2012 and in particular in the run-up to the October 2013 presidential elections in Azerbaijan, Azerbaijani authorities were engaged in an effort to curtail critical voices in that country. The International Bar Association's Human Rights Institute decided to send a fact-finding delegation to Azerbaijan in December 2013 to investigate whether those who had been reportedly arrested and detained on freedom of expression related offences could hope to receive a fair trial. In order to understand the situation for freedom of expression in Azerbaijan, we felt it was extremely important to look at the broader context, in particular the way in which the right to freedom of expression is protected through the right to a fair trial. And that meant being able to meet with the different parts of the legal profession and the justice system, the judiciary, the prosecutor's office, and the criminal defense bar. It's clear that one of the key factors in the fairness of trials in Azerbaijan relating to freedom of expression cases is the shortage of criminal defense attorneys, particularly those willing to take on the government. There are approximately nine million people in Azerbaijan uh, there are, however, only in the region of 830 criminal defence lawyers, and 500 of those are in the capital, Baku. We found that there seemed to be a particular difficulty for litigants based in the region, so outside of Baku. Um, they were unable to afford to pay for lawyers to come from Baku to represent them. Uh, there is a system of state-funded lawyers, but there were many complaints that those lawyers were inadequate. The delegation received numerous reports that the Bar Association of Azerbaijan is not independent of the government, and that seemed to exhibit itself in two main ways. Firstly, in relation to its admissions procedure, and secondly, in relation to its disciplinary procedures. In order to practice as a criminal advocate in Azerbaijan, it's compulsory to be a member of the BAA, but the delegation received many reports that the BAA was very restrictively controlling who could be a member of the organisation. 
Secondly, we received reports that the BAE was using its disciplinary procedures against lawyers who were representing, for example, journalists, and therefore using its procedures as a tool of control over those lawyers. A while report found that in relation to judges in Azerbaijan, while there have been some important reforms in recent years, unfortunately the constitutional guarantees for judicial independence have not been matched by judicial independence in practice. In particular, we found that uh, in trials involving journalists who have been critical of the government, judges have uh, often appeared to act in a highly partial manner, favouring the prosecution's interests above those of the defence. One of the major flaws that we found in relation to procedural safeguards for the right to a fair trial was the problems in defence lawyers being able to access court documents, the requirement to have sufficient time to prepare an effective defence, and the ability to call and also cross-examine witnesses. Lastly, there was a significant um, series of problems relating to the record of the court's own proceedings, the transcript of the court, which is necessary in order to bring an effective appeal. The report sets out a number of recommendations, including for the Bar Association of Azerbaijan, reform of its admission and disciplinary procedures, in particular to ensure the right to a fair hearing in all disciplinary cases the introduction of a professional code of conduct in line with European and international standards. For the judiciary, reform of the composition of the Judicial Legal Council to comply with international standards, among them excluding prosecutors and other members of executive bodies with responsibility for law enforcement. A review of the need for a probationary period for newly qualified judges or at least a considerable reduction to no more than 12 months. For fair trial guarantees, that the Ministry of Justice work with international partners, including the OSCE and the Council of Europe, to strengthen the independent criminal defence bar in Azerbaijan. That the Ministry of Justice fully implement international standards to ensure that trial judges are wholly independent of governmental influence and ensure full equality of arms between prosecutors and defence advocates. For the protection of journalists, the decriminalisation of defamation both online and offline, that immediate steps are taken to establish effective mechanisms for the protection of journalists consistent with international standards, an urgent review of all convictions and prosecutions of journalists and human rights defenders over the past decade. Azerbaijan has now assumed uh, chairmanship of the Council of Europe's Committee of Ministers. It is in effect the guardian of the fundamental values of the Council of Europe. This report identifies at the same time severe deficiencies in both the right to a fair trial and the rights of freedom of expression in Azerbaijan. If Azerbaijan wants to be taken seriously as a guardian of European values, it needs to take a closer look at how those values are protected within its own legal system.